well hello there how are you how's your day going mine has been kind of a full day it's currently 11 p.m when i'm recording this but i still wanted to come in front of you so i'm gonna rate all my mascaras and we're gonna go from worst to best we have 13 mascaras all of them are open actually one of them is not open but most of them are open tested and we're just going to talk about them and see which ones are trash and which ones are really good ones. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and keep on watching. If you're wondering what the hell is this thing on my head, <laughs> actually this is supposed to be a spa hair, don't care, satin sleep turban. Uh, it was attached to this thing when I bought it and it's from Refresh. Relax, refresh, renew accessories for your well-being by Riviera. And this is supposed to slip in this, but I don't know if I can fit all my hair in this thing. But yeah, I thought it looked cool, so uh, yeah, I put it on. What do you think? You like it? I found it at Ulta, $18. So yeah, let's get into this video because you're not here to find out about my turban. You are here to find out about mascara. So I have some bad mascaras, I have some e -e -e mascara, and I have some really good mascara. So let's get into it. So on the 13th place, the worst mascara that I have right now in my collection has been a big battle between two mascaras, but I would say the worst mascara that I have, it is this one right here and this is from Too Faced Better Than Love Waterproof Mascara. This one I actually got it from TJ Maxx. I'm pretty sure this has been pretty old and whatever but I I don't like this. They're supposed to be the same for like, like Better Than Sex Mascara but I really don't like it. It is the same. The brush looks the same. It is natural fibers in it it is looking really nice but when you put it on it doesn't doesn't have the same effect as um better than sex mascara without being waterproof whatever and also it is a pain pain to remove this from your eyes it's just a pain and it's not worth the pain if it would look amazing i would be like yes that's okay it will take me forever when i take it off but it will be worth it but this, it is not worth it. And it's trash. Another one that was like right there, buy it here, then went on, on the 13th. <laughs> but this one, it is a really bad one as well. This is the Lash, the Falsies Lash Lift Waterproof Maybelline from Maybelline New York. And it's, it's really interesting to me because most of the Maybelline mascaras that I tried, I really like. This one, it's actually really bad. And like, like I said, this is the same thing. This, it's a paint to remove. This is how it looks inside. Um, and it's just, I don't know, it's really wet. First of all, it's a really wet formula. Second of all, it's just like, it doesn't, it clumps so bad and it's just not doing what is promising, right? Like lifting the lashes or anything like that. I just, this one, I absolutely hate applying on my eyelids. I'm actually, not, I only wore it like three times and every time I tried it on and it was a mess, a mess, a mess, a mess. And I, I have so many mascaras I have so many uh, better mascaras than this one and of course this one is gonna go to trash and I'm not gonna give it another chance next one in line so this one actually I'm really mad about I'm really really mad that I fell into that trap so this is Urban Decay Perversion bigger bigger blacker better mascara so when Ulta had that big sale a while back when they had the any mascara was ten dollars I fell into the trap of following some big youtubers saying that this is the best mascara that it was on the sale at the time and if there's any mascara that is worth grabbing this was one of them that's how they were saying 
And I was like, ooh, I never tried that um, that mascara. I should try it. I should see what's going on. I should not die stupid. And I'm going to go and buy it. I'm just going to see how it is. I want to be beautiful too, you know, like them. And yeah, what an idiot. This one, it is such a wet formula. It goes everywhere on, on my eyelids. And I have, I'm like oily skin, right? So if I apply anything that is very wet formula, it's going to go at set point in time during the day. It's going to go all over my eyes. So this for me does not work. It is really horrible. Very, very wet formula. It is very clumpy. Look at, look at this brush. Like, look how ugly it looks. Ugh. I, mm -mm. no, 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 no. Do not buy this. Don't phone the same trap like I did. Don't buy it. It's now we're trash. getting a little bit closer in, like, in the mid section. Like, they're not bad, but they're not good either. They're like, eh, you know, like, eh. So next one, uh, which one, which one? I would go with this one. So this one, it is Tarte Tartist uh, Mascara. This is an okay mascara. It doesn't do anything really amazing uh, for you. I would say this one, it separates a lot and actually lifting, but it doesn't do a lot of voluminizing to it. It's an okay mascara. It's not something um, extraordinary. You know what I mean? Like, mm, it's, it's. Okay, this one, the um, Wonder Beauty Mile High Club Volume and Length Mascara. Um, this one actually I don't like to apply on my um, top lashes. I usually, this, I would go only on the bottom one because of how it looks. Um, <clears throat> Because of the wand, it's really nice and easy to go on this bottom one. And the top ones are not, it's not going to do much for your top lashes. It's going to clump and it's not going to look too great. But for the bottom one, it's really nice. And this is the only thing that I, that I only use this for the bottom lashes. And that's why it's in the middle. Otherwise, it would be like in the bad ones. But it's in the middle. Now, another mascara that I found at TJ Maxx, this is a fully charged pure mascara. And this actually, I was a little bit like surprised by it because I was not expecting much from it. But actually, it's really nice. When I first tried it, I just didn't like it that much. But after I tried it a bunch of times, I actually do like it. And uh, it does look it does look really nice on my eyes. It gives it a little, it gives a little bit of a lengthening, but also voluminizing. This is more like voluminizing than lengthening, but I do like it. It doesn't clump my, uh, my lashes together. And it's really, really nice one. Actually, I really like this one. I don't know if you can still purchase this one. I'm going to look it up and leave it on the screen. Now, the next mascara that I want to talk we're going to talk about Essence. Essence Lash Princess Volume Mascara. So I like this mascara, but it's not as people describe it like the most voluminous mascara in the entire planet. No, calm down. No, it is not. It is okay. It's an okay formula. For the price, yeah, it's amazing, but it's okay formula. This is how it looks like. I actually like it, but I don't feel like it's that voluminizing. This is more like it does curb your lashes, but it doesn't give you a lot of volume. I like when I put a mascara like super big volume on my eyes and also lengthening this one gives it a little bit but it separates them a lot so I just feel like I only have a few lashes when I applied this one so for me this one is an okay mascara it's going towards good mascara but it's still kind of not there if you know what I mean next mascara Marc Jacobs this is a velvet more major volume mascara this one actually is not a bad mascara it's actually a nice mascara but it is voluminizing um it's not very lengthening it does have voluminizing in it 
but it's still like I feel it's something it's missing from it. It is not to the quality or the or the the the, the amount of beauty that it gives to my lashes. It's just not there yet, you know. Next next one we're gonna talk about this one this is Anastasia Beverly Hills and I gotta say a little bit I'm a little bit disappointed in this one I was expecting a little bit more from it it's very similar to better than sex mascara but this one actually um I get a lot of like around under my eyes I get a lot of black I get black <laughs> black shit under my eyes when I wear this um so it's very tr it's transferring to my makeup and I do not like that as voluminizing and lengthening it is pretty voluminizing not that much on lengthening but pretty voluminizing but it just still clumps my eyelids a little bit if I go too close it's not gonna look that great um so it's just I it's not there yet and I was having so many so much hope when they came out with this mascara I thought it's gonna be such a magical one but no from the get-go I thought hmm this is kind of like better than sex mascara but I feel like it's a little bit lower under better than sex mascara I feel like better than sex mascara is better than this so yeah not not the most amazing mascara that I thought is going to be when I purchased right, here we go this is better than sex mascara and I actually like this a lot it is a really nice one I do wear it every so often it's one of my one of my favorite mascara but I do have three other ones that are much better than this one next in line here we go this is milani highly rated mascara this one actually it's a nice nice mascara i like it it's voluminizing also it's lengthening it separates my lashes it doesn't clumps my lashes they look really nice when i apply this on and i really 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 recommend this mascara it's affordable it's nice you find it at the drugstore really good mascara next mascara this is kkw um beauty mascara this mascara i had for a long time i just repurchased it because i love this mascara so this mascara it's actually really nice lengthening it does have uh voluminizing it doesn't transfer it's not such a wet formula that I, you hit it everywhere on your eyelid it's a really really nice mascara and i really really like it and i think it's really worth it for the price too. number one mascara from my collection i do have other mascaras but i haven't opened them yet these are the ones that i do have open at the time so this one is mark jacobs at lash mascara this mascara is freaking awesome i am wearing it on my eyes right now it looks like you have falses on okay this is the most amazing mascara i ever tried and i absolutely love it it is more expensive it's more on the expensive side i think it's like 27 dollars. this one I actually bought trendwood um box just because of this is in there and some other stuff but i was like i want another one in my life i want to have a backup for when this is gonna be done but i absolutely love applying this it makes my eyes look so much beautiful and it gives you that cat cat eye look when you just apply more mascara on this section it's just it's a gorgeous mascara this is an absolutely gorgeous mascara and i recommend this a hundred times if you're not somebody that wears lashes this is a good good mascara to wear and feel like you're actually wearing lashes. so that is it for today what do you guys think tell me what other mascaras have you tried and you swear by it which mascara you actually like the most have you tried any of the ones that i uh talked about let me know down below in the comments thank you so much for being here thank you so much for watching this thank you for supporting me you guys are amazing and i will see you all next time for another video bye